Hi everyone, I am Navneet Krishnan. I am a wildlife photographer and in this video we are going to see what is the best lens and the camera to use for wildlife photography. So before we get started with the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you get daily one video and learn more about photography, Lightroom, Photoshop and Premiere Pro in the simplest way possible. Let's get started. What is the best camera and lens to use for wildlife photography? This is a very common question I get asked in all social media platforms. So I decide to make a video on the same. So let me explain you on what is the best camera and lens you can get for wildlife photography. So first before we get into the point directly, I would like to explain you how the genres are differentiated. So all the genres such as wildlife, wedding, sports, everything does not depend on any camera body or lens. When you say wildlife, it just means you are shooting a wild animal in its own environment. You say sports, you are just shooting a sports an event, sports event, that's it. You, shoot, you say wedding, you are just shooting a wedding of various religion, caste, creed and everything. You just shoot all kinds of weddings. You say event, you shoot all events, that's it. So there is no relation of camera body or lens that comes in that comes in picture when you say any genre of photography that is in particular but why does people say that you need a large lens large telephoto lens like 400 600 800 mm when you start with wildlife photography no it is actually a myth because we have seen photographers carrying such large lenses and making amazing images and we think and we come to a mindset that all the wildlife photography should be made only with those kind of lenses. There are few amazing photographers who make images using the same 1855 kit lens. Wildlife photography with 1855 kit lens is possible. Wildlife photography with 50mm lens is possible. It's just the matter of photography and not anything to do with wildlife. So if you are good at photography, whatever genre it is, you can make amazing images. But it is said that you have a minimum of 100 to 200 or 200, 500 or 100, 400 lens for when you go to wildlife photography. But why is it said? Because all this you are going to shoot is not a subject or a people or a human that you can be friendly with at some point of time. They are all wild animals. You don't know how they behave at the first sight, even at the last, last, if even if you have been there for a decade or 20 years or 30 years, you don't know how they are going to behave right at the point when you see them. So it is very quiet and it's very good behavior to keep a safe distance between the subject and yourself when it comes to wildlife. And so you actually go ahead with the telephoto lenses. So I would say any telephoto lens under your budget is the best thing that you can buy. So the best camera would be the, any camera that comes under your budget. It will be the best camera that you can buy for wildlife photography. And all that is going to make amazing images is your skill, your understanding of the lighting, your understanding of the camera is going to get you some amazing images. So go ahead, get the best lens and camera that comes under your budget and start shooting the wild in an amazing way. And if you are posting it on social media like Instagram and Facebook, don't forget to tag me. I have given my handles down below. Don't forget to tag me. I would love to see them. I hope this information was very much useful. Thank you for watching. We will come up with more amazing videos. Until then, stay tuned and follow me on Instagram. Thank you.